Hey everybody, this is Debbie from Crystal Dragonfly, and I wanted to show you a sneak peek of some of the beautiful handcrafted pieces of jewelry that I actually picked out this morning. So they're brand new, we just got them. Uh, each one is one of a kind, I don't have more than one. Maybe in one piece I have two, but for the most part, uh, each one is the only one I have, and maybe the only one I can get. Um, I had uh, a friend of mine drive down today, eight and a half hours to bring me a huge selection of this beautiful uh, handcrafted sterling silver jewelry. And I was really excited, not just because they're really well made, which they are. The bales are thick and heavy, so they're sturdy. They're made out of um, sterling silver, um, but they're really well made. You could feel that they're well made. They are handcrafted. But the best part for me is that these were available in stones and crystals that you just don't normally see. Um, you know, most of the jewelry that we see comes from the jewelry stores in the malls or on the internet. These pieces are uh, specifically chosen. He picks very good gem quality crystals such as seraphonite, healer's gold. Um, if you can see the pendant that's dead center in the picture there, the round blue stone, that's blue apatite. Um, right below that, and I'll try and focus on it, is blue cavensite. I've never seen a piece of jewelry made from cavensite. Actually, it's not all that easy for me to even get cavensite in any form. I do get it occasionally, but it's not that easily found. So this was really exciting when I saw that he really came through and just brought gemstones that I haven't ever seen made into jewelry before. There's some beautiful gemmy kyanite, really, really, really beautiful pieces. Um, if you could see here, we got some tiger's eye earrings, which I am very, very tempted to just pop right into my ears. They're gorgeous. They are faceted on both sides, and they're quite large. They're um, really, really beautiful pieces of tiger eye and, and just stunning. Um, right here to the right of those earrings is a pendant. It's praseolite. Uh, I recently had some praseolite spheres. This is gem quality praseolite, and it is just beautiful. I don't know if... The uh, camera is picking up the color, but the color of this piece is just wonderful. And the faceting is also on both sides, so it really reflects um, a lot. Some of the pieces have a Tree of Life silver filigree over the stone itself. Um, there might be one or two that are similar to this peridot piece with um, the peridot in the shape of a flower. This one is amethyst. This one up here is sunstone. And I've never seen jewelry really made from polished sunstone. Uh, this one to the far left is the seraphonite, which is next to the shungite here. And the shungite's really interesting. It's left uneven, so it reflects beautifully. It's I've never seen shungite have a sheen like this before. Um, so it was really interesting to look at this piece and get to see sort of what's underneath the polish. Uh, when you get a sphere or some other carved piece of shungite. But I do want to try and start posting these um, Friday evening. I am going to have a drawing and I'm going to offer one of these pieces of jewelry to the drawing winner. Um, they're just they're just too pretty not to have a, a giveaway and have somebody uh, be the, the for fortunate recipient of one of these pieces because um, it's, they're just beautiful and I really, really would love one of you to have one. So I'm going to get to posting. Again, I apologize for the shaky camera. I got a new camera and I my tripods don't fit it. So, oh, and one last thing. It is Friday, February 10th. New moon, it's a snow moon. There's going to be a green comet over our skies. If you're fortunate enough to live somewhere where you can see it, I would definitely uh, try to do so. And we're also having a lunar eclipse. So if you like to put your crystals out into the moonlight, tonight is the night to do it. If you can't get them outside, no big deal. Put them near a windowsill. And it's a great day to do an affirmation, rethink your goals for the month, new moon, new goals. And I want you all to have a really great weekend and stay in touch. Bye.